Steve, you and I are jumping into a preview. We're talking about Trinity Fusion today, and dude, are we having a blast. I've been keeping my eye on this one. The art style is what took, uh, kind of gravitated towards me, right? Instantly, and then it's a 2D side-scrolling roguelike adventure, and every time I jump in and I die, I immediately want to jump right back in and keep going. Now, this is just preview, so it just wrapped up in about three hours for me. It didn't go too, too long. I could keep going back because every time is it's funny the level is somewhat static and the same but yet the experience is different every single time i'm not a rogue like person like i'm not a player but i'm starting to get that hook that little bit that's kind of keep pulling me back in and then the story is starting to unravel of who we are and then these viewers that we're going up against and they're you know we're fighting off part of our world but yet we're jumping in the multiverse and then we're yep. fighting off a whole other world and then it sets up stuff but because of the preview we didn't have full access to everything so there are yep. a total of three characters but we we're only really playing one today and dude i cannot wait for the full release of this it's coming to console it's on steam right now for us to get our hands on and you know i'm just like yo give me my console controller and let me go i played on console i actually played controller the entire time did you do the same or you are missing keys Oh no, I'm not a mouse and keyboard kind of person. <laughs> I, I have to keep looking at the WASDs and see yeah. where everything is. I don't play a lot of roguelike games. And I know this is more the Scots genre. Yeah. But I, I'm with you on this. This game is highly addictive. And I love the art style. Like you said, we get a few little bit of cutscenes of a little glimpse of what we're up to, but yeah. not too much in depth. But one thing I do love about this game is the, the weapons, the lore, and all the loot is... Well, normally there's so much whether you want double welded swords or yep. a single sword or a, a scythe or anything like that and then obviously you've got your, your abilities as well whether you want to freeze something fireballs yeah you there's so much going on and this game is phenomenally good and i like you said because it's roguelike yeah. when you die you go back to the beginning but you end up at a hub which you can then buy certain abilities because as you kill certain enemies, you get they drop coins, yep. which you can then use for upgrades and power ups. The controls were really good. How did you find the controls, like for the weapons, the jump, the dash? Dude, smooth, like silky, silky smooth. I yeah. loved it. I just that's what I mean. It was that hook of you know everything's connecting. I'm dodging at the right time. Everything felt like it was hitting on point. Here's the thing: I was using my Logitech G Cloud and playing over the cloud into my steam setup and then i came oh. down and then started playing on my actual pc as well dude there was not a hiccup between the two at all everything ran perfect it was so smooth and it just kept that loop the one difference i found you so you start off in this one world and then you get into the waste and the waste is this other it's like level two we'll call it right yeah. the, the enemy types i felt a huge spike from the first level to the second level yeah. i was like wow okay these guys are definitely a little bit more challenging but dude, it was so it was so fun. The last one when I wrapped up my three hour experience, I was like, that last run was I was like hitting on every point, and it just makes you feel like you're a legend at that time that you're nailing yeah. everything right. And one of those runs that it just feels like nothing's gonna go wrong. The only thing that went wrong was that it was over. <laughs> I was just like, oh yes. man, what do you mean here, guy? Like I wanted to keep going. It was the minute I stopped, I didn't want to put it down. Right? It was it yeah. was that loop of Ooh, just one more run. Just one more yeah. run. How much further can I go? What other ability will I pick up this time? What other weapon will I grab this time? And just want to keep yeah. going back. And then, yeah, the characters just moving around the screen were incredible. Going back to the hub world, though, Steve. It was a bit plain. I, I felt... I think, is that things missing? I think it's things missing. Yeah, granted, right? We are early access, but I felt very empty in our hub world when we were there. When we were talking to the characters, too, in these little cutscenes, do the lips don't move. Right? You get the voiceover, yeah. but the lips are like... And that yeah. part is just kind of... Ooh, a small little disconnect right there. Hopefully that will be maybe polished and, and fixed or just actually done in the full full game. But as of right now, everything is, is on point for this. Man, I cannot recommend playing this game enough. This is awesome. I absolutely loved every single minute. Three hours isn't very long, especially when there yeah. is other worlds and other characters to get into. But Steve, I just... Dude, I just want to play some more. Oh, yes. And I will say that I had, 
I would sort of say probably like a not a balance issue. Um, but I find, as you said, they get harder and harder as you progress. Sure. And I like the way you can use the right thumbstick to actually scout the area before you jump down to the next level yeah. to see what's there. And there was issues where there's like loads of enemy and you don't really have a block. All you have is a dash or slide underneath the legs yeah. and an attack. And I found that did sort of take your health down quite a lot. And I did get to a stage where I, I think it was like a boss fight. Yeah. And I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Just wiped you clean. <laughs> Steve, it's fair to say we've loved our preview. Granted, this is early access. We'll look for hopefully a final review when we get the actual release of the game. But for what we've played so far, everything's hitting on point. It just works the way we absolutely wanted it to. And I just get that feeling of, I want to play more. I just want to play one more round, one more round, right? And see how much further I can go in each run. And it is an absolute ton of fun. I cannot recommend this enough. You have to play this game. So cool. Yep, I'm with you. Highly recommend this game. It was very addictive. I found as soon as I started knowing how they attack you and you can sort of avoid them going to the legs and getting from behind and yeah. all the abilities you can get on this, highly recommend this game and I can't wait to try full release. Absolutely.